Hey guys, today is done my winter beauty haul for December and I have so much stuff here. This is probably the most stuff I've purchased in a while, which is not good. But mostly we have a bunch of Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales right here. There were so many amazing deals this year. So we will start with the Ulta products because of course that's where I spent the most of my money. And the Black Friday deals I actually did return a couple of them already so i got the buxom good as gold plumping lip gloss duo which had a mini of sophia and a full size of claire and sophia is a beautiful like light slightly mauvey pink shade but sophia is a very bright very glittery pink which i didn't want and i didn't realize it because the color you see and the packaging is not what it looks like in real life. Now, if the full size would have been Sophia and the mini would have been Claire, I would have kept it. I just knew I wasn't gonna get use out of the full size gloss and it was on sale for $10, which is an amazing price because a full size gloss on its own is 20. So that kit really was like a, like a $30 value. So again, it was a great value, but I knew I was not gonna use the full size gloss. So I did return that. I'd also gotten this Tarte stock stocking up eye and cheek set which had a mini lights camera lashes a mascara a sex kit and liner and then a blush and i honestly cannot remember the color of the blush but the packaging of it was very cheapy it was not like their normal mini blush packaging and that really upset me it really turned me off and the blush was the reason i purchased the set and online it didn't if i'm remembering correctly it did not say the shade name and i think it was either something i already had or just a color i didn't think i was going to get much use out of so i did end up returning that set but then the other thing i had picked up was one of the lime crime velveteen lip liners i do have one of these in chiffon that i found from tj maxx but i'd always wanted to try this color cake which is a pretty peachy nude and $8 is not bad. Of course, I would prefer it to be a little bit cheaper, but here is what that lip liner looks like. It is a pretty color. I haven't really used this formula all that much, but I am going to compare this to all the ColourPop lip liners I have because I do have several right now. So then I have my Cyber Monday order, which was huge. And the first thing I got was the Kylie Holiday Face Palette. Her collection, like all month long, has been going in and out of being on sale. And now some of the products aren't even on the website anymore, which I guess means that they completely sold out. And I am filming this video on December 22nd. So this is what the Kylie Holiday Face Palette looks like. I swatched this in store and it really does seem up my alley. That highlight might be too dark for me, but I think that the other highlight, the blush and the bronzer, are a good shade match for me. So I'm excited to try the formula because I haven't tried any of her cheek products yet. And again, if I don't like it, it's going back, but I do really want to like it. Next, I had purchased any from Physicians Formula because the whole brand I think was half off and I got something that's been on my wish list since it came out. This is their wonderful Eye Booster Liquid Liner but this is the new waterproof version. This is my favorite liquid liner. It's a brush tip applicator. It's very easy to apply. It's very black. They do need to make sure you get the blackest black shade but in the waterproof version I think there might only be one color but I'm very excited to try this and see how it compares to the original and waterproof is good for me because I have very watery eyes. So normally this is $11.49 and I got it for $5.74. So next I had picked up some blushes from MAC. So I had actually placed two orders on Cyber Monday, one earlier in the day and then one later where I decided to get a couple more things. So I originally had just purchased one MAC blush, but then I went back to see what was still in stock. One of the blushes that I was like, back and forth on went out of stock but the other one was still available so again I decided to pick these up because they were 40% off which is a great great price so I love my MAC blushes I think that they're incredible out of all of the MAC products that I used to love that's one that still remains a true love so the colors I chose would be mocha which is a matte finish this is a beautiful like rosy mauve slightly plummy blush which is so beautiful that'd be so great for the fall time. And then the other color, I've never really known if I would actually like this on my skin tone. I was always afraid of it being too orange. And this is 
Peaches from MAC, which is a sheer tone blush, which I've never tried before. I've only really used the satin and matte finishes, so I hope that this one has a nice amount of pigment, but this is a really pretty peachy color. Like, yes, it is more orange, but it's not like modern Mandarin orange. So again, I'll see how this one looks on my skin tone, but I was excited to get this because it is a cult classic blush I've always been interested in. And again, 40% off some MAC blushes is amazing. Then I got the Buxom Gloss set I was the most excited for. So this is the Top Shelf Plumping Lit Trio. So the other set I returned was a full size and a mini for $10, which is amazing. This was $16. It says it's a $33 value. And these are three minis of their plumping lip cream formula. The Black Friday set was the lip polishes. The lip creams are definitely my favorite formula. And I love having minis because I don't go through full sizes very often and I prefer being able to try more shades. And again, I've always wanted there to be a Buxom holiday set with just the lip cream formula. So to get this little trio of three shades that I don't already have all in the cream formula, I just couldn't resist it, of course. This first color I have is pink champagne. I'll swatch these because I'm gonna keep them. So this is a very pale pinky color compared to white Russian. That one's very pale, but that one is a little bit more peach and that one's more pink. Then we have Mudslide, which I thought would be really similar to Hot Toddy, which I already have, but this one, oh, it's hard to open. This one is actually more of like a warm coral rose color because Creamsicle is like true bright coral, but when you see this one compared to Hot Toddy, that one looks like a lot more neutral. And the other color I literally can't open right now. I My hands are red from trying. That is really pissing me off. I'm gonna have to get Justin to open it and we are not using our teeth. I am not gonna F up this packaging, but this is a very dark color called Cur Royale. So I just tried again to open Cur Royale and I got it this time, thank the Lord. But here is a swatch of that. It's a really pretty like berry stained look, which is very pretty. So then we've got one of the Ofra liquid lipsticks. These were on sale half off, so normally $17. It was on sale for $8.50. And this is a shade that I've been wanting for a while, and this is their new packaging, which is very pretty. And this is the color Sanibel, if I'm saying that right. And uh, here is what Sanibel looks like. So it is like a more peachy, tan neutral color which is very pretty and I do like the Ofra formula. Then Nabla products were on sale and their liquid lipsticks were 30% off so normally they're $16 and I got this for $11.20 and Nabla is a brand I'm very excited to see at Ulta and I hope that they keep bringing more products and I've seen lots of beautiful swatches of these liquid lipsticks but this is a color that I figured would be best for me and I'm so happy I got this one because I contemplated getting Vanilla Queen which I think would be too pale because I recently went to a Morphe store and they have some Nabla products as well and I was able to swatch it a little pale for me so this is the color closer and we'll see what I think of this formula but compared to Sanibel, you can tell this one is a lot warmer and peachier and it makes Sanibel look a lot more like tan. So the two of them are very similar. I probably don't need them both, but it might depend on the formula. So those are products I definitely do need to set aside to try out. The last thing I got for my Cyber Monday order from Ulta would be this Smashbox Primer Trio. This is the Cosmic Celebration Photo Finish Primer Set. Normally $22 and it was on sale half off for 11 bucks, which is amazing because it is a $45 value. The main reason I got this set was for the photo finish primerizer. I've used up a couple minis recently and I actually really do love this primer for the winter time. I mean, this isn't really ideal for my skin type, but I really like it. And this one on its own, so this is a half fluid ounce bottle or 15 mils. This on its own is like 16 bucks. So to get this entire set for $11 was a really, really good value. So I got that. 
And then the next thing I got in the set is the Photo Finish Primer Water, which I'm using one of these right now. I don't think it's amazing, but it's something I can definitely use up. And recently, my mom told me that she read in a magazine that for women over 50, like, primer will change the game. And I was like, oh, so face primer or eye primer? And she was like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, well, probably face primer. So, like, she does not know what she's getting into. As soon as she told me that, I was like, oh, it's on. Because you guys know I have so many primers that I would love to give her, but my mom is just like, takes forever to use things. So right now my sister gave her a little mini Laura Mercier primer. She got in a Sephora play that she wasn't loving. I gave her a little mini Too Faced Hangover RX because I do have a travel size and I told her, try the mini, tell me if you like it. If you do, I'll give you the travel size. But I am gonna be giving her this one because I think she just really needs like a basic smoothing primer or a moisturizing primer and this one is smaller than I thought it would be it honestly feels empty but it might just be because of the texture of it so this is the original photo finish primer which I don't like at all but I do think that this would work for her my mom has more of like a dry skin type and it has 0.41 fluid ounces or 12 mils which again feels small but I think that will be good for her. I'm sure it will take her ages to get through. So I thought that was an amazing deal because between my mom and I, we will use all these primers. And for $11, that's incredible. So that was my really awesome Cyber Monday haul from Ulta. And then for my next order, I got two of their, I believe these are like Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals and Sephora had the same deals going like the whole weekend. So the first set I got was the Murad Keep Calm and Poreless set and this was originally I believe $19. I got it on sale for $15 and then when I was in store I saw that it wasn't available online any longer, but in store it was on sale down to $10, which is even better price. So I returned the one I bought online and then I bought it in store for $10, which is fantastic. I'm not sure what like value wise it actually is, but more than $10, I can tell you that. This is a fantastic size of the oil control mattifier. I used up a little mini in my summer project pan and I told you guys I would love to have this again, but not the full size. This is the perfect size for me. It is 23 mils or 0.8 fluid ounces, which is a lot. And you also get this little mini of the Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment, which will be awesome to try. I do have a couple other spot treatments in my collection, but I am very excited to try this one. It is 7.5 mils or 0.25 fluid ounces, which is gonna last me a long time for a spot treatment. So I thought this was a great duo. $15 would be a great price, but $10 is even better. And the other set I got from Sephora is this Becca Prime Set and Glow Kit, which was only $15, which I thought was a really good price. And in here, we've got the travel size of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And I think the travel size retails for like $16 on its own, which is amazing. And this is 15 mils or 0.5 fluid ounces. And this is another primer I'm gonna give my mom to try. I do think this will be really great for her skin type. It will hydrate her, give her a little bit of glow. Then included is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in the shade Champagne Pop. This is one of my sister's favorite highlighters. She has like a little baby sample right now, but I wanted to get this for her because again, such an amazing kit for her to have as a backup when she uses hers up. This is such a beautiful, beautiful shade that I can make work in the summertime, but it's a little dark for me, but it is perfect for her skin tone. So I had to get that one for her. And then also in this set was a mini of the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, which I don't like. I'm gonna end up putting this in a giveaway, but even just for these two products, it's an amazing deal because this size of highlighter, so this is 2.4 grams or 0.085 ounces. It comes in fancier packaging, but this size retails for $22. So I thought this was an amazing value, even just getting these two products for $15, but I'm happy to have something else to put into a giveaway as well. So with that order, I was also able to use a freebie coupon code, and this is for the Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash Enhancing Serum. This says it's a four week supply, which is awesome. People really, 
rave about this product and I am really excited to give it a shot. This is something I'm going to put in a sample project pan and try to make myself use it every single day, but that will be something very, very fun. So that is everything that I got from Sephora. Next, I had placed an order with ColourPop and I really haven't purchased from the ColourPop website in a while, but for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I really can't remember which one was which. They had a 30% off site-wide sale, which was fantastic. So I actually had a little bit of a tough time coming up with $30 worth and I needed to in order to get free shipping. So the first thing I have here, you guys have actually already seen me haul, and this is the ColourPop Birds of Paradise palette. I had purchased this from Ulta and I decided to return it because I only got it for like 20% off at Ulta and here I got it for 30% off and I really needed it to hit that $30 mark. So here's what this palette looks like. It's right in my alley, a lot of like warm tones, peachy tones, which I think is a very beautiful. And this is my first nine pan palette, but I much prefer that cardboard packaging over the plastic packaging. I might be in the minority there, but I think that is a very beautiful palette. And then the next thing that I knew I really wanted, and really the reason I placed this order was for this beauty. This is the Kathleen Lights Magnetic Palette. So this is the packaging that she had her blush singles in. So they originally just came in little sleeves, but then they released this palette and compacts for the cheek products, which I'm contemplating picking up a compact, but I really think I'm just fine with the palette. I do have another ColourPop palette that my blushes are in currently, but I'm gonna use that for other stuff because it's not that cute. It was one of the first palette designs. This one is so precious. I had been wanting to hold on to the blush sleeve because I thought it was so cute, but like I'm not using it for something. I was just holding on to it. This is perfect. This is gorgeous and functional. This is their large, Z palette normally $10 was on sale for only seven. So it says Kathleen Lights and ColourPop on the inside. So beautiful. And with these palettes, I can't remember how many shadows you can fit, but you can fit six of their cheek products, which is awesome. So I'm so happy to have this. It's beautiful. And $7 is amazing. Even $10 is a really, really good price. Then the other things that I really wanted would be a couple of the ColourPop eyeliner. So you guys know how much I love Zulu and Prance and I have purchased a few more of these shades and I really love them. I love this liner formula. It is a little bit more on the dry side but it's so perfect and long wearing in the waterline and on the lower lash line. It just isn't smooth enough for the upper lash line but I decided to get a couple colors that have been in my wish list but I didn't need. I, mean, I don't need anything but you know what I mean. And these are two shades that I originally did not get because I felt they were similar to Urban Decay Alkaline and a little similar to ColourPop Venus, which is like a bright true red. So the new shades I got would be the color Joyride, which is a burgundy, and then we have Charmer, which is a deep like wine purple color, which was from the Bye Bye Birdie collection, and I'm wearing this one in my waterline today. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. These are so pigmented. They're nice and matte. I've not tried any of the shimmer formulas. Some of the bad things about these is that they do detach from the base pretty easily because they're so dry and they can break off. So I just twist up a little bit at a time. So right there's a swatch of Charmer. Then the other one we have ooh, is Joyride which is the burgundy color. So Joyride and Charmer, very beautiful, happy to have them. And then of course I was like, hmm, what else do I want? And this is something I considered. So when Kathleen came out with her blush pans, I bought two of them, two of the four, and I decided to get one of the other shades. This is like a more like neutral mauve blush. And it's called I Need Space, which is really pretty. I did not need this in my collection, but I don't regret buying it. And I am excited to see how this looks on the skin, but that will perfectly go in my new Kathleen Lights blush. Well, magnetic palette that I'm gonna be using for blush. And then I had to come up with one more thing. I was kind of going back and forth. 
and I decided to get another ColourPop lip liner and I purchased two last month and I need to like stop buying lip liners now and just use up the ones I have because I've got a lot of like similar tones but I really wanted this one and I love the new packaging for the lip liners it's so much easier to tell what the color is now it used to just be the colored end but now the colored lid is really nice so again this is like a more of like a, a brown nude and I'll swatch it next to my Lime Crime Cake lip liner. And it is lighter and more of like a peachy tan nude. So I'm gonna have to compare this to BFF from ColourPop because that's one that I purchased recently from Ulta. And I definitely need to like go on a lip liner no buy. But that is my order from ColourPop. Palette was $8.40. The lip liner was $4.20. The eyeliners were $3.85. The magnetic palette was $7 and the blush was $5.60 and that's a 30% off prices. So next I place a Cyber Monday order with Anastasia and their single shadows were $6 which is half off. They're normally $12 and I had planned on getting a bunch of my favorite shades from Modern Renaissance in singles but then when I decided to buy the like buy another Modern Renaissance palette I decided I didn't also need them in singles so I just purchased two other shades that I had wanted that are both actually repurchases and then I got a quad that I wanted. So again, these singles were $6 and the shades that I purchased would be Birkin. I've hit major pan on the single I have now. It's one of my favorite transition colors so I definitely needed a backup of that one and then I purchased my all-time favorite color from the Tamana palette and this is Bengal. Again, I've hit major pan on the one of my palette and it is very old so I'm trying to use that one up this year and then I will work on my single. I absolutely love both of those. I really like them together. It's like a really perfect transition and crease color for me that are warm tone without being orange. I love them and I love Anastasia's matte formula in particular. I do find that it's very pigmented and it does blend nicely. Yes, it's a little powdery, but it's not it's not the worst. So the last thing I got from Anastasia was this eyeshadow quad and this was on sale for $24, which felt expensive for a quad, but it's not considering that these are full size eyeshadows and it's like each of these is also $6 each. So unfortunately, my quad came broken, just one shade, and they did send me a replacement. My replacement came broken as well, this same shade. So I took a picture with Anastasia. You have to take a picture of the product and your shipping receipt or whatever. So I am going to send them another email and see if they'll send me another new one. I feel bad about it, but like, this one looks broken, but the other one is like destroyed, de destroyed. So this one, ugh, yeah, I hope you can see it. So you've got two shimmers, two mattes, and I think these are great colors that I will get a lot of use out of. I placed my very first order with Davina Cosmetics, which I'm so excited about. I follow them on Instagram and I think they come out with such beautiful, beautiful products. So I had my cart ready to go at 1 a.m. and then I, I went to check out and by 103, some of the shades I wanted were out of stock. So then I went back and tried to add some other colors instead. And then those went out of stock. So I was just like F it. So I decided to just buy the Exploders set. I did want to buy a couple of their other eyeshadows from, what is that collection? From the Galaxy Dust collection, but the shades I wanted sold out. So I figured, let me try these. Let me try Divina Shadows and see what I want. There were a couple matte shades I really wanted. I really want the shade Blow, which is a matte white, and it looks so pigmented in swatches, and I think that will be a perfect brow bone setting shade. Like, you guys know I love a matte white. So there are a couple others on my wish list, and I know that they do good sales throughout the year, but for Cyber Monday, they did have a, or Black Friday, I, I, I don't remember. They had 50% off site-wide. They did not have free shipping. No matter how much you purchased, you didn't get free shipping, I'm pretty sure, which was a shame. So this collection is normally $56, so that meant it was only 28, which I thought was a great price. So the colors you have in here would be Nerves, which is a blue, 
marshmallow pillows, which is pink. Swudge, swudge, which is another blue. Pixie sticks is a pink. Kazookles is a purple. Ah! Then we've got Everlasting Gobstopper, which is another blue. And Runs, which are some of my fave Kendas, that is a purple. So these are beautiful duochromatic iridescent eyeshadows and I'm very excited to test out and based on my experience with these I might buy some more. So my next purchase was very exciting. So Glam Glow had a sale on their website where I think it was like 30% off everything plus five free samples with your order and free shipping which is amazing and I think it was Beauty Deals BFF that posted this deal on Instagram. The cheapest thing you could buy from Glam Glow was this eye mask set. It is just called the Eye Boost Reviving Eye Mask. It looks very glamorous. So this is normally $8. Because it was 30% off, it was $5.60. And then I got to choose my five products. So there were a couple of foil samples, but there were tons of deluxe size samples as well. So I did choose, of course, obviously five deluxe size samples which was amazing so the first one is the glam glow super cleanse clearing cream to foam cleanser i've tried this before and actually really loved it and you guys know if you watch my sample project pans it's very rare that i say i love something or would think about purchasing it but i loved this then we've got the glam glow super toner exfoliating acid solution which is a good size then we've got the Glam Glow Super Serum Acid Refining Treatment. And then two masks, the Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment, which I've never tried before, and the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I've tried the white mask, but not the black or the purple. So that was incredible. And after tax, this order total was about $5.94. So really, it's like I got all of these products for $1 each plus free shipping, which was freaking incredible because you guys know Glam Glow products are really expensive. It'll be really awesome to try out all of these products which are new to me and to have another, something I actually really, really love. So that was a phenomenal deal. And then I bought from two indie polish brands, the first one being Lights Lacquer. I wasn't sure if they were going to end up having a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale since they are a newer brand, but luckily they did. They had 20% off, which is not bad, which could have been better. And I did have to pay shipping, which stunk, but that's okay. I was going to buy the polishes anyway. And they did release a new shade for Thanksgiving as well. So I was happy I waited to place this order because I did really want this polish as well. So her fall collection had six shades. I bought three of them. She has already released her winter collection, which is a gemstone collection. I think the only one I want is Emerald, which is the cream polish. I love creams. The others, I'm not sure. They're pretty, but they're not necessarily my style, but Emerald is definitely something I'm gonna put on my wish list. I can wait to buy it though until she releases more collections, but I'm very excited about her brand and to try the formula, so see how it compares to Kale Polish, which is one of my favorite polish brands of all time. So the first one we have is Girl Power, which makes me think of the Spice Girls. And this is a really unique polish. It's like green and orange, and it's something that I've seen people use as a topper and on its own, and it looks so pretty, very dynamic. Then we've got Eleven, which is like a pea soup color, which, I hope this looks okay on me. It's so pretty in the bottle, but hopefully I like it on the nail as well. And then we've got polishes that are right up my alley. This is Jeffa, which is like a dusty minty sage green. And then we have Cold Turkey, which is like a dusty blue. And again, both of these are right up my alley. They're so, so beautiful. And we've got a very like fall color scheme here which you guys know I love my fall polishes and the other polish brand I purchased from was 90 lacquer this brand was created by just face 90 who has an amazing nail polish blog 
Instagram and YouTube channel and her brand was 25% off and I did also have to pay shipping but again I love Jess's polishes and I always wait till she has a sale she always does Black Friday Cyber Monday and then she usually do a spring sale as well and then sometimes one or two other sales throughout the year and I got three polishes that are again very fall. There were a few others on my wish list, but I narrowed it down to these three shimmers. And this first one is Maple, which is a beautiful, bright, shimmery orange. Then we have Decay, which is like a really old, dirty old swamp green, which is really cute. And then we have Mulled Wine, which is like a deep purple base with like some wine notes in it and it has like golden reflex. This looks a lot lighter in the swatches from what I've seen, but these are, this is just like the most perfect fall trio right here. I'm so happy to have these, and there were a few other polishes on my wish list, like I said, but I am happy that I got these three. I think I'll get the most use out of these. So guys, that was my entire haul for December, including all the things I got for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. A lot of stuff, but I cannot wait to try it out. I would love to know what you guys purchased in December for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and I would love to know your thoughts on any of these products in the comments down below. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.